Hello friends and welcome back to my modded Minecraft 1.19 Let's Play. We are on episode 2 and for today's episode we are going to do um, resource gathering. So I want to start on a starter base but this is a modded world. So we're going to have way more blocks than just plain vanilla. So I want to go and basically just have a look around and see what blocks we can use before we start to blend plan sorry a starter base <laughs> so as you can see i do have a bland <laughs> starter house right here where i just have my chest and my bed in there so what we're going to do is basically look around and see what blocks we want to use and see if we can obtain those so i want to do like silk touch uh because i know i want to use mushroom because uh there's a lot of mushroom blocks in here so I'm going to see if maybe we can get that from a villager or find it somewhere because there's different structures in this type of modded world. So uh, before we get started, go ahead and like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading a new video. Let's go ahead and hop into this adventure. Okay, so I have my food, I have a boat and I have my backpack with me and I still have a little space. I'm going to leave my bed here, uh, just in case. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to go explore and see what we can find. Because I kind of feel like I want to do like a mushroom, cottage core, maybe not even cottage core, just use mushroom in my builds. So for that, we're going to need silk touch. So I'm going to see if we can find um, a villager that has silk touch or that we can obtain silk touch from. Um, also different trees I wanna collect cause I've seen some different trees. I'm not sure, this looks like all oak, but I've seen some different trees over that way uh, towards the village. So let's go ahead and adventure over here and see if we can find some different sort of trees as well as uh, head to the village we were at before. Okay, so I think this might be another custom village. I don't think we've been over here before. And it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna go be nosy uh, and be careful, of course. Look at these guys, they're so cute. I wanna get a farm started so bad so I can have the different varieties of animals. But yeah, I don't think we've been here before. I am loving this modded, it's so different. I'm gonna go ahead and collect these because you can never have too much. I don't even think I have any. I had to make some from the logs. So let's go ahead and collect this. Well, we're over here. Okay, so, oh no, it's starting to get dark. Um, let's see what we can find in here though. It's like water under here. Ooh, a water bucket, okay. I can definitely use that and some barrels, I'll take that. Uh, what else do we have here? These houses are like so cool. I wonder what type of villager lives there. Oh, it's very dark right here. Why are you guys down here? Okay, I'll take the apples, of course. I forget you could do this. <laughs> so I'll take the apples, tomatoes, uh, plenty of books I have at home because we kind of destroyed that other village, but just in case I know they're here. Oh, and I'll also take one of these beds. I probably should take, I'll come back. I just wanna explore right quick and just see what is over here. Cause there's so many different houses. I'll take the bread, thank you. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, it's night, let me run into a house. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have in here. I'll take all of this. Thank you so much. What else? Okay, it's a house over here. 
Oh, this is like a proper church. That's so cool. What is in here? Oh, wow. So many supplies. I haven't even gone mining yet and I have gold, redstone, lapis. I should probably take that. I'm pretty sure I'll be needing some potions later on. Uh, we already went in here. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, hi, sorry. <laughs> Did I walk into a conversation? I'm just, I'm just looking around. I was just, yeah, I was just checking. Okay. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I wonder what villager. Oh, another one. This is way too much goods. I see why I'm going to need the book bag. I'm going to take this again. Let's see. That is so cool. I haven't even reached up there. I think there's like houses on the hill up here. Oh, wow. Is that a bird? Where did it go? Okay, yeah, I'm not going down there, but it looks like a bird. Okay, I wanna get up here. Is there a way up there? How do I get up? I'll just have to climb, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and climb up here. Alrighty, we made it up here. Let's see what else we can find. Ooh, gotta be careful. What is in here? What do we have? Just some food that I'll gladly take. What else do we have? Oh wow, what is this? Raw mutton chops? Raw bacon? Iron knife? What? Uh, I guess I'll take these. Raw beef, raw pork chop. Okay, I'm already out of space. Oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and throw some stuff in the book bag. We're definitely going to have to make a few of these. That's so cool. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Okay, this village is like all broken up. It's like an, oh, it's like a chest. What's down here? Okay, I'm gonna try to reach the top first before I go back down. Okay, I've collected so many items. My book bag is already full. Uh, I hope I have enough materials to make another one. Uh, but we haven't even investigated this little area down here. Uh, I think we've been to all these houses. Let's try to get down here without hurting ourselves. This might hurt. Ah, I'm okay. I made it. Let's see if we can. Oh, cool. It's like a target area. Target practice. I hear zombies. They must be hiding behind somewhere. Or are they in here? Uh, okay, let's do some investigating because I saw a chest on top of here. Oh, here we go. Oh, just more food, but I will take that. No problem. You can never have too much food. Was it chest over here? Okay, on the other one. It's probably food as well, but I'm going to take it. Actually, I kind of want to take these because they're good for building. Ooh, that hurt. Eh, my ankles. Okay. Let's see. Yep, more food. Let's take all of this. And then I'm going to take the scalpeton as well. Ooh, this goes all the way down. Oh, am I stuck? Oh, I'm at the bottom. Ooh. I 
I don't think I should go over there. <laughs> I'm just here to investigate. <laughs> Not too much investigating. Okay, so, oh, he's back here patrolling. Okay, so I think we collected as much as we can from this village. I'm gonna go back on, ooh, I knew that was gonna hurt. <laughs> On my adventure looking for um, more trees so I could have different blocks so let me go ahead and put this all look at this my backpack is full this is crazy I'm gonna have to make can I go in here yeah I'm probably gonna have to make another backpack I think I needed iron or something like that Okay, but yeah, I'm getting off track. <laughs> Let's continue on our adventure to find uh, different blocks. Okay, I got distracted again, but look at these bunnies. They're so cool. They have like stripes. So cute. Even these little sheeps over here. There's so much to explore in Modded. I don't know if I'll ever play vanilla again. Oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> Such a cutie. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> back on this adventure. I've only seen oak trees so far. Oh. Oh, we got an achievement, my first village. Okay, so I guess the other villages didn't count because they were custom, but this is like a normal generated village. That's cool. Um, okay, so, okay, I promise the next time I go back to you, we're gonna be collecting different uh, trees because it looks like I might have to go a bit far. I'm not seeing a lot of trees. So I'll get back with you guys. Alrighty, so it looks like we have found some new trees. This definitely looks different. So let's go ahead. What is this? A palm log, okay. So let's go ahead and collect some of these. And I probably should grab some sand while I'm here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, collect some of these uh, palm trees as well as some sand. And then we're gonna head off to another location and see what else we can find. Okay, so we have been out adventuring and look what I ran into. Isn't this like a pretty rare biome in vanilla Minecraft? Look at this. This is so cool. It has plenty of mushrooms, which I kind of want to use for a build. But I think I need silk touch. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna save the coordinates for this location so I can come back. Uh but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I found. It's huge too. Wow, look at what are these? Like mini mini mushrooms. Oh, the brown mushrooms. Okay. I'm gonna take a few of these while I'm here. But yeah, I'm gonna save this location so once I do get Silk Touch, I can come back. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and head back on our adventure for different types of trees. Okay, so we have found some new blocks as well as new trees. Let's see if, if I can get up here. They look so pretty. It's like they have a glow. Wow, look at this. It's green and blue. Oh, and I think these are mushrooms. <gasps> yes, this is what we're looking for. Okay, so I'm gonna save these coordinates as well because we still have to get um, Silk Touch to get these mushrooms. Um, let's see, what type of block is this? Okay, it's like a cobblestone. Okay, and this? Rocky stone, okay. 
So we have some different type of stones here we can use as well as trees. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect some of this and then we're gonna head off. Okay, so we have found some new trees and it looks like it's uh, like a cherry blossom, which I kind of love. Like what the heck what is this? Pink cherry foliage. Oh, I love this. I'm gonna take some of these as well. Japanese orchard. Oh, wow. There's so many different flowers here. It is ridiculous. Let's look at this wood though. Okay, it looks like it's red cherry log. Okay, so we're gonna collect some of these as well. I just want to have plenty of variety for when we start um, to build our little starter base. So we're just gonna collect as much as we can. And I still need to work on silk touch. Look at it, it looks so nice. It's like falling down. This is so nice, let's see. Okay, this is the same, same one. All right, so I'm gonna collect a whole bunch of these and then I'll be on my way. Okay, so we found another village. I'm gonna see if we can find a librarian and possibly get Silk Touch while we're over here. So uh, let me go ahead and see if there is a librarian here. Okay, so there's no librarian here, but I figured we can just change one of these villagers. Okay, so a forester. Okay, so this must be one of the new jobs that come with the mod pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this table. Okay, yeah. So let's see if I have the materials needed to make a lectern. Let's see. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna spend some time doing that and then I will get back with you guys. Wish me luck. Okay, so we have been through quite a few, like literally passed up so many good books like Looting 3, um, Breaking, Fortune, but we finally got Silk Touch. I really wanted this book, so I am 100% fine with that. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave you here but I really wanted this silk touch. <laughs> it is a must because I want to use certain blocks for builds. So I wanna make this one of my first books. Um, so I'm gonna head, go ahead and save this location just so um, I know where he is. I'll probably end, it up, end up getting another villager that's silk touch, but I really wanted to go ahead and grab that right away. So that way we won't have to pass up um basically any mushrooms that we find from now on so i'm gonna go ahead and see what type of tools can i make because it needs to be an axe what kind of tools uh so I need to collect some more iron because I think that's the highest or diamond that I can make as of right now in game because all this other stuff is, yeah, that's definitely later game type of materials. Do I have enough diamonds for an ax right now? I only have two. I thought I had more than two diamonds. I might've left them back at um, my base. But I already saved the locations of the mushrooms that I want to get, so that's fine. I'll go ahead and head back home and see what diamonds that are there. Oh no, I want to keep you trapped. You stay there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and head home and see if we can find the diamonds I had. I thought I had more diamonds than that. And then we're going to go a different direction and see... Um, if we can find any type of trees. I found a few, we found the palm tree, we found the cherry tree over there. Um, what else did we find? Uh, we found plenty of villages. 
I found plenty of things to take home with me and I am running out of space. Like my backpacks are full. So we're gonna head home. Unfortunately, I have to re-gear up and uh, put some of this storage away. So let's go ahead and do that. And then after we do that, we'll go ahead and look, um, we'll go a different direction and see what we find as well as uh, make a hopefully diamond ax and put this silk touch book on there. Uh, I also wanted to mention this, this right here. It's like a waystone and it lets you um, use it, but you have to use like um, your XP to travel. So this was like another village. And then this is the current village we're at. Like they have random names. So I might um, find a random village that has this and just take one and put it at my home base. That way I can always get home as long as I'm around this. But I think they also have like a scroll that you can use to transport you, but you still need to have like one level. But I'll have to research and see, but I just thought these were kind of cool and I can't wait to like set those up uh, around my base and stuff like that. But yeah, let's get back to the task at hand. Let's go ahead and head home. And then we're going to drop everything off and head out again. Okay, so we have made it back. I've organized some things. I was able to make um, the diamond pickaxe. So the only thing is we are low on iron. So we have to go look for that. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go or head a different way. I think we went east last time. So let's go, oh my God, villagers, <laughs> no. Okay, let's try to head west this time just to see if we can find maybe a different village and collect more supplies. Okay, so we actually ended up going west last time, so we're heading east this time. Uh, once we find something, I'll meet back up with you guys. Okay, so we are at a village. Let's see if we've been here before. I'm not sure, but I'll see what supplies I can take from here. Okay, so I've been traveling for a bit and I found a few new uh, logs, but then I ran into this. I don't know what type of generation this is, but it is crazy. Look at that. It looks like, uh, what do you call that? The like the far lands? Crazy. And it's low key kind of scary. Okay, this place has like plenty of mushrooms around here though. I almost have enough iron to make the anvil. So we're gonna go ahead and collect the rest of the iron needed. I just wanted to show you guys this. This is crazy. All right, so I'll get back to you guys once we have the anvil ready. Okay, so we have our anvil ready. So we're gonna go ahead and put our silk touch on our ax. Now time to go collect some mushrooms and then we'll go ahead and head back home. Um, we have been out for quite some time, but I found a lot of stuff, so it's definitely worth it. But I'll go ahead and collect some uh, mushrooms and then I'll get back to you guys once we are back at the bay, uh, back at our base. Okay, so we were heading home, but I found a treasure map. So let's see if we can actually find the treasure. <laughs> I'm not really good at reading maps, so. Uh, I have no idea. Is it right here somewhere? Oh my gosh, what is this? Hello, sir? Wait a second, oh my gosh. Ooh. 
sorry. I oh my god. It's like a goblin. I'm guessing you're not dangerous because you're hiding. Okay, hold on. I have to make like a platform or something. Because I feel like the water might be pushing them. There you go. You okay? Oh, okay. Oh, he trades. Wait. I don't feel like I need maybe the blaze rods that would be super great do I have any emeralds on me let's see oh, I don't think so oh yeah I do I have 10 come back here sir please I'm still trying to look for this treasure oh my gosh where did he go where did he go? I heard him. There you go. Can I trade some blaze rods, please? Nice. That's so weird. Like, I just was digging in here and he just popped up. Goblin trader. Wow. Okay, well, I still have to find this treasure and I'm guessing it's somewhere right here but I have no idea so we're, we're gonna keep at this oh yay we found it okay let's see what our treasures are yes I can use all of this oh no Potion. I'm gonna have to give up some of these beds. We need this gold. We need this. I want to get some more blaze rods. Um, uh, whatever. Let's give up one more bed. One, two, three. I think I have one of these at home, but I don't need the raw mutton. So let's take the bed. And I want to trade with the little guy over there for more. If he's still there for more blaze rods. Because I want to get started with potions ASAP. Where are you? Still over here. I wish I could take him home with me. I don't know if that's an option though. Ooh, nice. That's good on the levels too. And it doesn't seem like he runs out of trades. I, I have to research and find out how did I... How did he spawn? Because that would be amazing to have rather than the villagers who run out of trades. All right, so we found our treasure. I think I'm gonna keep it just to frame it for our first treasure on in this world. And yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do what I was doing, which is collect some mushrooms. And then I will get back with you guys uh, once we're at the base, I just wanted to um, show you guys that I had found a treasure. So I'll get back with you guys. Okay, so we've made it back home and I just want to show you guys some of the blocks that we collected on our very, very long journey. Um, so we have a green mushroom block, red mushroom block, someone eating. the only one that hears that so strange okay <laughs> all right and then we have a mushroom stem white mushroom stem 
and then we also have like a brown mushroom stem brown mushroom and then a brown mushroom block so these are all the mushrooms that we found so far i'm not sure if there's any more but this is what um i found so far and then let's go over the wood types that i found not really sure how to pronounce these but just so you can get an idea of the color and the log i really like this it's very it kind of reminds me of cinnamon and then we have of course our favorite spruce and i'm not really sure oh maple log and then the plank i like it kind of gives like a old house type of vibe which i kind of like i like that so what else do we have this one i really like it is what is it called witch hazel log i think i like the plank better of course it is like a, a very royal type of green i really like that and then we have a blue enchanting log in the plank doesn't really look like a regular plank. It kind of looks like bamboo, like a blue bamboo plank. And then it also came in green. So the log and then the plank. So we have like so many options so far. Let's see. And then we have the palm tree, the log, and then the plank kind of reminds me of like this just lighter uh, and then we have the cherry very very dark red look at that I absolutely love that I'm trying to figure out what type of build I would do with this but it, I absolutely love how that looks and then we have our dark oak of course and then we have another one what is this aspen log I don't really like how the log looks because it looks like birch but the plank is kind of cool I'm keeping an eye on this bear <laughs> uh, it looks like it's just chilling but I'm keeping an eye on it um, so this these are like all the blocks that we found and we're gonna try to have to figure out what kind of build we can make with this for our starter home i have no idea because there's like so many options but i know i want to incorporate mushroom in this build uh before we go i want to see how the logs look stripped so let's go ahead and do that okay i like that it looks kind of like a tree can you strip this one okay not bad not bad oh wow I don't know, this color is just, it's just top tier, I love that. And we already know dark oak. Okay, same type of vibes, spruce. I like this one. Let's see how this one. Ooh, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Okay, same type of vibe. Okay, not bad. So we have to figure out what we're gonna do. We have so many options now. It is ridiculous. Like, this has been quite a long episode. I know I haven't got anything built yet, but I just wanted to take you guys on a journey just to show you like all the options that are available when you're playing on like a modded world. This is like so many more options to choose from. So this is gonna be really, really, really hard, uh, but yeah. Uh, I'm not really sure uh, if you guys have any ideas of what you want to see in the coming episodes let me know so I'm gonna go ahead and end this right here this episode so for our next episode we are going to get this starter base built I just have to go over all of these blocks and figure out basically what I want to use what color I want to go with what type of theme so that's what we're going to do for the next episode is build, build, build. I'm still trying to figure out where that noise came from. Kind of weird. <laughs> but anyway, 
uh, go ahead and like and subscribe and go ahead and hit the notification bell as well. That way you know when I upload the next episode for this uh, series. So thank you guys so much for watching and continuing to support. I'll see you guys later. Bye friends.